Hey guys, welcome back. Zeke here. First gear squatch video. This is the first one I'm doing. I'm excited. Really excited. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I usually just sit in my office and my garage is a mess. But you know what? Screw it. I'm going to show you the messy garage when we go down there. Not right now. So what I'm going to do in this video, I have a 2016 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide Special. It is superior blue. I didn't think I was going to like the blue. Here, here's a picture of it. I didn't think I was going to like the blue at first, uh, but it kind of grew on me. It's actually kind of cool. I always, like, all my vehicles are black. I've always gotten black. I wanted to get a flat black Rogue Glide. I almost got that one. Test drove this when it drove way better because it was after the Rushmore series where they made all the changes and put the vents and all that stuff in there. It's really cool. It's like air conditioning on a hot day when you put the little two vents, then they're down in the fairing. Okay, maybe not air conditioning, but it does help. So, the stock seat on these road glides is like that hair that is just flipping down in my eye. Stock seat on these road glides are comfortable for a little while. And if you're a bigger guy like me, the, the way they kind of curve, here's a picture of them, the way they kind of curve and grab your butt, I guess it's the only way you can say it. It, it kind of pushes into you a little bit and it gets a little uncomfortable after a while. To me, not to everybody, but to me they do. A buddy of mine has a couple years newer model road glide and he had bought a very nice seat for his and it's called the Daddy Long Legs because it's better for tall guys. I'm six foot seven and uh, I need to get a couple extra inches in, in leg stretchability stretchability stretch stretchability is that even a word so i got a hold of him he ordered it from lapera for me uh lapera i talked to them as well they were awesome the customer service was outstanding even though i ended up going through uh the harley dealership where he works i'm not mentioning them not because i'm avoiding it i just don't know if i'm supposed to or not Anyways, but the the customer service was impeccable at his dealership. Screw it! It's Appleton Harley in, in Clarksville, Tennessee. Surely they can't, like, they won't get mad if I say something good about them because they were awesome. Customer service was great. La Perra's customer service was great. They were prepared to ship it to me. Uh, Appleton's could get it a little bit quicker. And so I ordered it from them. And now it's here. La Perra. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do the whole box for the unboxing. Let me get my knife out. When you get a seat like this and it's all wrapped up, it's leather. It's not steel. So make sure you're very careful when you're cutting through the tape and everything. Make sure you got a sharp knife because you don't want to like really be pressing too hard and all that jazz. It even says caution, handle with care. Always lay seat down gently to avoid damage to edges. I think I kind of just slammed it on this desk. <laughs> that may be the best sticker I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> La Perra, since 1972. Booty pleasing motorcycle seats. La Perra. Booty pleasing motorcycle seats. Hardware enclosed. This is the Lapera Kickflip Daddy Long Legs. This is what I'm gonna be putting on my bike. One of the reasons I got this is for a few hour ride, the, the stock seat wouldn't bother me. I'm about to go to Sturgis. From Nashville, that's 18 hours. That being said, I wanted something a little bit more comfortable that was going to be. <laughs> Booty pleasing for the entire trip. Uh, going up there with a group of guys, we're actually gonna do like kind of a documentary thing. Uh, when I get there, I'm gonna be working with my company, Law Tigers. Uh, not my company, I, I don't own it, but I work for Law Tigers. I, I do marketing for the state of Tennessee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put this on. I'm gonna take off my old seat. If you wanna buy it, uh, DM me down in the uh, comments. Take off the old seat, put this one back on. I am going to ride it to Sturgis, 
then I'll do a full review. So this video is just gonna be taking it off, put it on, and showing you what it looks like. And then the other video, when I get back, which will be in two weeks, but I'll actually probably post a few videos on here in the meantime. The other video is going to be the actual review, how I like the seat and everything. But so far, even the leathery smell, the look of it, I love. I got the pleated. It looks a little bit cooler. I'm trying to copy my buddy that got it for me. No, really, it, it, I wanted the same thing that he had because I sat on it and it felt amazing. Uh, and I didn't want to change anything uh, just because of the feeling. The cool thing about these are, it's got this deep high backrest so you don't have to get like one of the plug-in backrests for your stock seat. It's built into the seat. I got the instructions. Let's go see how you put this thing on and how it looks. So the first thing we've got to do is bolt the rear bracket to the seat. And I need to make sure, yeah, it goes like that. So you just need a hex driver. Now here's the tricky thing. You know, I'm looking at this. Yes, I'm doing this on a lawnmower. Don't say anything. But I'm looking at this and there's a lot of give on forward and back like that. And I'm wondering if I should wait to adjust it or not. A little worried about that. I don't know if it's back or forward, back or forward. And it's sliding it back, so I'm assuming just by me tightening it, that's the way it's supposed to be. Why I sang that, I don't know. There, nice and firm. And of course we can't actually put anything on without taking this off. So, yeah, my dog's chew the screwdriver. You just go to the screw right here. Pretty simple if you can actually get the screwdriver in the screw hole. Hold on to that because the seat, ooh, got blurry. Hold on to that because the seat did not come with one. I'm assuming that's because it needs to be the stock screw. So save that. Don't lose it. Remember that, don't lose it. So I'm just gonna grab the seat. Here's the U bracket in the back. Slide it out. And it's gone. Bam! All right, so we've got the seat off. One thing you need to make sure of, as you notice, there's a little U-bracket here on the bike. Well, <laughs> there's a frame bracket right there on the seat. So you have to make sure those are aligned when you go on. And guess what? Mine worked! <laughs> Alright, it's on, ooh, it's already looking good. It is on there. Now, pretty simple. You take a screw, you put it in the hole. And you screwdrive it. As with anything like this, you don't want to go too tight. All right? But you also don't want to get it too loose because guess what happens on a motorcycle, especially a Harley? It vibrates, and that can mess up. Get that all rest up. So, ta-da! Backrest already looking good. So I'm already sitting on it, and the thing I notice immediately is I'm definitely farther back, which I like a lot. But I'm a little bit higher, so that's going to take some getting used to. But it's not bad because the way it has me sitting a little bit higher, my legs aren't as like beyond 90 degrees they're more like that instead of like that i don't know my legs don't really 
You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna get out of this hot garage and go back up and finish the video. So I'm a little sweaty now. Pretty simple, easy take off, put on. I'm not by any means mechanically inclined at all. I'm not. I could do that pretty easily. So if I could do that, you could do it. Reach out to La Para, local Harley dealer or any dealer that sells these. Uh, check them out. The reason I'm saying check them out and not buy them yet because I haven't ridden it yet. When I ride it and I think it's awesome, then I'll tell you to buy the hell out of them. Well, buy one. If you only have one bike, you don't want to buy a lot of them. That wouldn't make sense. I'll check it out on the trip to Sturgis and then come back and do a full review over it. That's it for my first Gear Squatch video. I hope I do more and I hope you watch more. Everybody, ride safe. Take care.